Okay, so hello everyone. This is Akshay here and let us continue with our today's GFG Pluto this week. Today's question name is sum of upper and lower triangles. The question is very easy and uh, I I thought I should not make a video on it but then I realized that I was once a beginner too and many of you have started your journey journey from now let's say uh, in whatever respective year of BTEC uh, B -tech degree you are right. ठीक है तो हमारे पास कर मैट्रिक्स है एंड क्रॉस एंड वी नीड टू प्रिंट द सम ऑफ द अपर एंड लोअर ट्रायंगुलर एलिमेंट्स राइट तो क्वेश्चन समझते हैं एक बार तुरंत से सो लेट्स से यू हैव दिस थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मैट्रिक्स राइट सो वट यू हैव द एलिमेंट्स कवरिंग इन रेड बॉक्सेस इन रेड ट्राइंगल दैट इज योर अपर ट्राइंगल द एलिमेंट्स दैट इज बींग कवर्ड बाई द ब्लू ट्राइंगल दैट इज योर लोअर ट्राइंगल राइट सो इफ इट इज अपर फॉर द अपर ट्राइंगल क्लियरली यू कैन सी फॉर द थ्री क्रॉस थ्री सिक्स फाइव फोर टू फाइव एंड सेवन Are the up is the upper triangle and you need to return the sum of the elements. Similarly for lower triangle as well. Six one two seven nine seven. Okay. So the question is very easy. Again, I am saying it's very easy. But again, if you are a beginner, then you would have must face a slight delay in solving this question. But okay, let us generalize now, right? So this type of question is always very handy. If you this type of question in the sense, whenever you have to do a traversal, right? The best way to solve this type of question is to write what you need. Right. You must write the need, and then you need to generalize that based on your need, what variables I can assign, and which for loop, and when and where the for loop can be applicable. Right. So what I need to do is that this is my row zero, row one, and row two. So for the upper triangle, I'm talking about the upper triangle. What is the range of elements I need, right? So this is zero, this is n. So for the first row, I need from the elements ranging zero to n. For the second row, I need the elements uh, zero, one, two. Let me write the indexes as well: zero, one, and two, right? So for the second row, I need the elements starting from one till n. So I just write while till n. For the third, I just uh, need the element from the index second. This is the index second, right? Two n. Correct. That's what I have written. Similarly, in the case of column, uh, in the lower triangle, in the lower triangle, for the respective rows, which are the elements we need? In at the starting, we just need for the first element, right? That means you are covering zero to zero. This is written in terms of row, right? Okay. Okay. And uh, for the first row, you need the first two elements. So you are going till zero to one. In terms of column, it is written, not row. Okay. Then for the second row, you need to cover the elements zero till n, right? So zero to two I have written. Now, this zero one two can be handled by a for loop, a simple for loop. I will just say for i equals to zero, i less than two, i plus plus, right? This two can be further be replaced by n, right? Now to handle this thing, to handle this thing, now can you generalize this range or can you write this range in terms of i? I know this is my i. Can you write in terms of i? Can I say this zero to n is nothing but i to n? This zero one to one, one to n is nothing but i is here one. So I can again say it is i to n, and similarly I can say i to n. Right? I can say that. So we will have a nested for loop starting from j equals to zero to j less than n and j plus plus. Right? We will have two if here. First for the upper triangle, and then for the lower triangle. In the upper triangle, I want the elements greater than equals to i, and less than n. So less than n, we need we do not need to handle that is uh, that is getting handled by the for loop itself. So I will just write if my j index is greater than equals to i, right? Then I need the sum. Let's say s1 plus equals to matrix of i and j. And at the end of this nested for loop, your S1 will have the sum of your upper triangle, right? Similarly, for this thing, can you say, can you comment, can you write this range in terms of i again, so that we can see that what is the if statement we need to apply for the lower triangle case? I can see it is going from i to it is i, right? So it is going from zero to i till i inclusive, right? And again, it is going so in this the lower triangle. This was the inclusive. Okay, it is again zero till i, the inclusive range. It is again zero to zero to i, the inclusive range. That means I need to cover all the elements which is in range of zero to i, right? 
so we do not need to handle zero because the for loop itself is starting from zero right so i just have to say if j is less than equals to i right then that means you have a s2 which will have s2 plus equals to matrix of i and j and at the end of the nested for loop this will have your upper sum and this will have your lower triangle sum got it now you are free to draw in this code on several other examples as well but i have shown you that how to think when a question is given of a purely a traversal type right you just write what you need like in the previous day also in the matrix when there was first hop and second hop neighbors we have written what we need and then we try to generalize how we can write in terms of code right so i hope that was a very simple the same the question was already a simple one but i think how to think has also become simpler for you guys now okay let us see the java code now now you should pause this video here try to code try to code the pseudo code in your code editor and then hit the send button verify it then come back to this video again now i'm hoping that you have done that thing and now we have a list because the return type is a list we have s1 and s2 and we have an asset for loop for j greater than equals to i we have the upper sum and for j less than equals to i we have the lower sum and at last we need to push all both the sum in my arrow list and that is it let's compile and run let us hit the submit button for this question as well meanwhile it is compiling what is the time complexity we are running an asset for loop till less than n and less than n should be n square so based on the constraint if you see constraint n is 10 power 3 and we are using we are using n square so 10 power 3 the square is 10 power 6 which is definitely less than 10 power 8 and that is why if i hit the sum button this code will definitely get submitted now i see, i see various comments not various multiple comments coming for they are going to please make that tle video in english right because we are a diverse country and many people live in the south india and they are facing the problem so don't worry guys i will make a new video in english so that uh, i can offer my help to all of you okay yeah that's great so we uh, the code has been successfully submitted in java let us switch back to c++ the same thing we have done in java and su code the only changes in java and in su code the only changes that instead of arrays we have a vector instead of dot add we have a pushback and rest remain same great so there is three submission Okay, so we have done this question in twenty twenty one as well. My placement season, great. Take care. Until then, keep learning, keep growing. Bye bye, and take care, guys.